This museum is absolutely brilliant because what they kept reminding me was that all of the cultural artifacts that we saw are still used in society today. So the manager was saying that the museum is still a lively demonstration of, of how the culture works. And it was fascinating to go into some of the different huts to see how the different tribes move. We went into one predominantly used by cattle movers and they were explaining that the boys and the fathers take it in turns to stay awake and watch over the cattle and the other people in the hut. And then when the boy gets to 14, he's allowed a hut of his own. But I also had a demonstration on the drums, which was fantastic. I didn't realize there were so many different types of drums, so so many different sounds coming out of it. But you can just sense the pride here in the history that you've got. I believe this is one of the oldest or uh, most important museums in, in East Africa. I think it opened well over a hundred years ago. So there's great, there's great prestige and great history here. And the grounds out the back are massive. So it's great when you have big groups of school children coming, you can see that they, they have plenty of space to run around in between being given a, a history lesson as to what the different cultures have contributed to Ugandan society over hundreds of years. Fascinating. These mirrors uh, emblems, these are cultural objects, some of them are inside the museum. It shows that our culture is living and our artists are working and so creativity, but the tradition is embedded in this. So we will want you to go and hang it either in your office or at home. We will. We'll put that, we'll put that in the house. So that your cafe will get